We have a huge update of Elias Lindholm, top target by the Boston Bruins in this free agency, now likely to hit the market. As well as Jacob Middleton, a player the Boston Bruins may look to target to add to this team in this offseason in a very, very good move. So I'm going to be talking about both of these things here in this video. Before we do, though, we know that 81% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed to the channel. If you're looking for a spot to get all of your Boston Bruins news, you're in the right spot. Hit the sub button. Join me here on this channel as we cover everything that this team has to offer in this very busy offseason. And we're just about to get started on July 1st. So you won't want to miss any of the news we have to bring you. We're also on the road to 3K. and would mean the world if we could hit that by the beginning of next season. But like I said, let's get straight into our first topic here and not waste any more time, which is a massive update on Elias Lane Tom. Now expected to hit the free agency market uh, at nearly a guarantee. And this comes from NHL discussions on Instagram. Uh, I believe they have a Twitter, but it's a very, very good news page for those who are looking to stay up to date with some uh, all NHL news. And they have this to bring out today. Elias Lindholm is expected to hit the open market after reportedly turning down a seven by seven million dollar contract from Vancouver. He previously rejected the eight to nine million extension from Calgary. This is an absolutely, you know, huge situation right here with Elias Lindholm now rejecting a second contract from a Canadian team at a very high AAV. And this is a bit concerning for the Boston Bruins and the Boston Bruins fans who want to see Elias Lindholm come to this team. But there's also some pretty good things that we can take away from this if we dig a bit deeper. So I'm going to be talking about all of that here. But Elias Lindholm, a guy that many, many targets uh, have been put on him by the Boston Bruins to try and acquire him uh, at any given situation they can. They tried at this year's deadline, um, as we've spoken about a lot here. And they're going to be likely trying again here in this free agency to get that number one center spot filled up with a player who has the potential to be a very good uh, offensive forward, but is already a very good defensive forward to fill both sides of the puck, which the Bruins are absolutely used. And Elias Lindholm, declining these two deals, not really sure how much he wants to get paid, or not. Really, we're not really sure how much he's going to make now after declining these two. It could be a situation of not wanting to play in Canada. It could be a situation of him thinking he's worth more money than those two deals. And it really is kind of a, a mess of what we're seeing right now from Elias Lindholm. But the fact that we now know that he's declined two deals, likely to hit the open market, really to me means that this is a better chance for the Boston Bruins to at least get a uh, his their name out there and try and acquire him with less competition. If he's declining this deal from the Vancouver Canucks on a year that really was not his best year, they acquired him to go in this deadline, or sorry, at this deadline to go into these playoffs. Likely, you would have to say in hopes of re-signing him to help out the team, and it really didn't happen. And now, if he does end up walking here, and this could be a big loss for Vancouver, but a huge gain for whoever he decides to sign with if he does end up hitting the open market. And I'm going to pull this screenshot up here as well uh, from Jay Fresh, kind of showing the chart, but also shows um, you know the breakdowns of the contracts again that he declined. As you can see here, not the best year from Elias Lindholm. He's a cur currently going to be a free agent. Uh, come July 1st, as long as he don't get an extension with the Canucks. Uh, but as we're seeing, unlikely now at this point, seven years, seven million declined. The offense isn't great, neither is the defense, although we know he does have the potential to be a fantastic um, offensive forward and a defensive forward. So there are both sides of that. And the Bruins may have an advantage here now because Elias Lindholm will want to sign with an American team. To me, to what we're seeing on Twitter, to, you know, kind of just what we've seen in the past, it looks like he's trying to go somewhere where he'll get the most bang for his buck, I guess you could say, where a state where the taxes are low or, you know, not being as highly taxed as in Canada and whatnot, or just not even wanting to play in Canada in general. That's really what it seems like from this point now. And we don't really know too much more about Elias Lindholm in this situation where he hasn't played for an American team yet um, on the either of those two teams. He was tempted to go to Vegas at the deadline. Nothing that came uh, came from that, and nothing came from uh, the Boston Bruins. But a very big situation here. We know that Elias Lindholm is a, a good player, has a lot of potential for the number one center role. 44 points, 75 games isn't too bad for uh, a guy that's known for his defense more than his offense. But what do you think about this? What do we think about a potential Elias Lindholm uh, deal to Boston? You know, there's a lot of concerning things now about the price that they will have to pay him if he's going to make more than seven million if he's going to make a little bit less depending on where where he goes where he plays in what state 
it really does seem like a whole mess right now. And there's going to be need. There's going to need to be more information from the Boston Bruins uh, about Elias Lindholm to be able to, uh, you know, confidently make a contract offer to a player who has declined two very, very big deals uh, in the past. So, like I said, let me know what you think about this. But let's move on to our second topic here today, and this is another defenseman target by the Boston Bruins and a potential move that could absolutely make this defense way better. And this is Jacob Middleton. Could the Bruins be targeting him? The recent report from the Hockey News, it seems like this could be the case. And I will pull this up here uh, right now on this one. Middleton, 28, took a big step forward this past season with the Minnesota Wild and even often played on their top pairing. In 80 games, he set a new career high with 7 goals, 18 assists, and 25 points. In addition, he maintained his immensely physical style of play, even with the improved offense, posting 148 hits and 77 penalty minutes. The Bruins could absolutely use a mean six foot three defenseman like Middleton in their top four. He would instantly make that team that has been criticized by many for being soft far more challenging to go up against. Jacob Middleton, I am a huge fan of him. His play style, he's the type of defenseman that you absolutely want and you kind of need to have on your team, especially when you don't have the most physical roster uh, anymore for the Boston Bruins. We know that they had a physical roster in the past. That isn't so much the case right now, but. A guy like Jacob Middleton, the hits he's put up, the penalty menace, his physical style of play uh, from the NHL to international hockey. He don't care where it is, where the puck is. He's going to make sure that nobody's going around the goalie. Nobody's getting in the zone. He's a very big body, great defenseman, putting up, uh, as you've seen there, a career high in numbers as well. A very good sign that he's only going to be getting better and better. And as you can see, the shots, he's been just having a career year overall. And something that you want to see from a guy like Jacob Middleton, who's only 28 years old and uh, is really, really on, on a high point of his career right now. And I'm only seeing him going up. So I would love to see him on a Boston Bruins roster. He's on the final year of his deal here on uh, from what we've seen, or sorry, uh, final year of his deal here from Minnesota. And what we've seen from that Minnesota team it certainly seems like they are going for it, but could try and improve the roster at some point here in this offseason to make it a bit better. They're in a bit of a cap situation right now where they absolutely have no help. You know, that's a really big issue for that team, but it's a good sign that they can and will try to make a move. So let me know. What do you think about Jacob Middleton? As you can see, the final year of his deal, 2.45. Very, very possible for the Bruins to make a move there. They have a lot of money that can work with that. And uh, Jacob Middleton fills in a lot of great roster spots here, I guess you could say, for this Boston Bruins team. As you can see here, this is a continuing of that article. If the Bruins acquire Middleton, he would be an option for their top pairing with Charlie McAvoy as he's played big minutes in Minnesota. However, he would also work on the second pairing. In addition, he would be able to pick a, a big pickup for their penalty kill. Um, and just his whole game overall kind of centers around that style of play, which the Bruins absolutely need to make this roster just the slightest bit better. They have a great left side right now. Parker Wabitspoon, Mason Lowry, um, and Hampus Lindholm. Three of those guys are going to stay there. However, a lot uh, or a lack of experience, I guess we could say, on that left side. Jacob Middleton could certainly solve that. And even if he don't play every single game, uh, if he don't play in the first line or second line every game, he still is going to be a huge addition to this roster. And the Bruins have showed they're not afraid to pair two left-handed defensemen, two right-handed defensemen on the same pairing. So. In any way, if they want to make this work, they absolutely could. And one target to keep an eye on, I'm going to say here on this offseason. But let me know. Do you think they should acquire Jacob Middleton? And what do you think about Elias Lindholm? What's up with this contract situation? I want to know what you guys have a th to think about it. But that's all I got here in this video. If you did enjoy, give it a like. Hit the sub button as well. Uh, you know, we have a lot of stuff going on right now. The Bruins making some moves, hopefully soon. Uh, the free agency, the draft, everything. And you're not going to want to miss what we have to keep you updated here with regarding the Boston Bruins. So I'm signing out. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. See you later.